All righty, first block. Let's start to work on the side of the television. So the easiest thing to take on is going to be this little feature right here because we can build it out of um, what we have, the existing geometry that we currently have. So let's see here. What is this? Manipulate. Why is that active? I don't want that active. There we go. I just had some buttons turned on here I didn't need to have turned on. I want to just have two edges selected, just these two edges selected, and I didn't want all that extra stuff there. Um, I'm going to need two new edges in here. So I click the menu, and it put in five. That's not what I want. I just want two, and I'll click OK. Um, those two edges, one of them I want to move down. The other one, I kind of want to move up. I want to refer to my my reference image just to see how. Let's see. The middle of the TV is about right there. So this is kind of like it goes from the middle to under the middle. So like down to about there. About like that size from the top to the bottom. And what I'm looking at right here is I'm looking at where is this horizontal line and where is that horizontal line? And it's a fairly good length. It definitely starts above the middle of the TV and it ends below the middle of the TV. So if I come over here and look and see what I've got, it starts above the middle of the TV and it begin, it ends below the middle of the TV and it's fairly long. All right. Now I want to connect those two edges. So I will click the connect menu and last time I put into um, but I'm not seeing it's not giving me more edges ah I know why no problem let's select those two edges and hit the connect menu there we go <laughs> That's good. Got those two edges. Bring this one from the back up here. Take a look at my reference image again. Because it is favored towards the front end of the... of the TV. So, I think I've got it about in the right place. So I'm going to click on polygons here, and what do you know? Now I've got a polygon right here. I can even adjust the movement there um, if I go back to edges and if I grab this edge make sure I get the whole edge from the top to the bottom I can move the whole thing down a little bit get back on polygons and with that polygon selected right there um, I want to do a, a I think I want to do an inset. That's what I think I want to do. So let me click on the inset menu. And now that's a huge inset. Don't quite want that much of an inset. So let me shrink that back out to like even just 0 0.1. 0 0.1 will be fine. I zoom in on it, that looks pretty good. 0 0.1 does look pretty good. And um, I'm going to hit the plus symbol just to do one more 0 0.1, and then I'm going to click my check mark. And I'm still on polygons here. I'm going to carefully select all of those polygons, 
and I'm going to open up the extrude menu and um, it looks like it did yeah it extruded it down so it extruded it downward <clears throat> way too far so like I really only need to go about negative 0.2 I go negative 0.2 that should be just fine that's still a ton I could go negative point zero uh, five negative point zero five now that's too shallow wow, actually I, I took it all out negative point zero five <laughs> Stop that. Somehow I lost my selection. Better pay attention to what I'm clicking on. I want those polygons. I want those polygons. And I want to do the extrude menu on those polygons. And right now it's taking it to negative 0 0.5, which I think looks kind of okay. X out of that. I'm going to control Z my way all the way back to where I only had one inset. Like I'm going to go back to, there we go, one inset. Just with one inset. Just with one inset. That's all I want, one inset. And I'm going to select these four polygons. It's good for you to see me fail. And um, I will hit the extrude menu. And it still wants to take it to 0 0.8, but I'll take it to 0 0.1, negative 0 0.1. That pushes it in just a little bit. And I'll click the check mark. And then let me come here and get a side view on the television and hit the render button and see how this is looking. I should be able to see this cut in the side of the TV now. Maybe not, though. That, there it is. It's showing up. I'm seeing that cut in the side. Well, because I'm doing this HDTV render, it sure does take a long time now, doesn't it? Yeah. So I may go back to my render settings, and I may change that so that um, uh, it's not going to be taking quite so much time to render, because this, this render is really eating up the clock. I'm going to open up the render settings menu and set it from HDTV back to custom and I'll just go with the 640 by 480. That way if I want to hit a render, it still might take a while, you know, it's still going to take a while, but it's not going to take as long as the HDTV render took. That's a lot faster. I get to see what a quick result of, of, of what it is that I've got going on here. Go ahead. Let's see. Let me select this polygon here on the front. I think. I'm going to get my move tool, and I'm going to push that extrusion back just a little bit further. I'm going to sink it in there. I want to get some nice shadows happening here. And then I'm going to pick this polygon on the front, and I'm going to grab the scale tool, and I'm going to scale it. Oh, man, just oh so little. There we go. All right. And, uh quick render again to see how this is looking. I just want to, at the bottom, it, I really couldn't see the shadow on the bottom that would have been generated by the, uh, but that's showing up a lot better. Okay. Now I noticed something about the, uh, the render here, the side case of my television um, the side case of my television. It's not painted, and it is, it's actually the same brown color as the front face. So um, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select polygon, and I want to get all of the polygons here along the side. Now let me be careful. Let me double check. Uh, I've got ignore back facing off, so 
that means I missed that polygon and I missed that one too. And let me get the back as well. Turn off the scale tool so we don't start. Okay, so now um, got all those faces selected right there. I'm going to open up my material editor. I press the M key, patiently waiting. I can see the spinning wheel now. Max is thinking about it, opening it up for me. There's gold, dark brown. Dark brown was what I used. Uh, this is going to apply it where I wanted it. And now when I turn to the side right here, and if I do a quick render, there we go. And I can see that little square there in the side of the TV. All right, looking pretty good. And the TV is now looking kind of like brown all around as well. Now, I'm going to call that a save file, save as, hit my little plus symbol right here, and uh, I'll be back in a minute to start doing the dials.